Okay, how about stock number 313? Let's do something a little bit unique for a change. When I look at 313, it takes me back to my childhood. Uh, you know, I didn't have a, a setup like this. This is a, a Colt Frontier Scout. It has a piece of tape on the rear grip. And you know what? I'm not removing any tape. Uh, is, is there a crack grip? Yeah, there is a crack grip. Uh, are both of them cracked? No. Is the tape old? Well, it's back in the day when you used to have the old scotch tape. Is the firearm worn? Yes, it is worn. Is it still a Colt? Well, it says Colt on the top of it. Um, it all of the writing is very readable, even though the, and I don't want to call it bluing. I guess it is blued, but uh, the bluing is very, very light. I mean, there, there's a lot of patina, I guess you call it, all over the firearm. Uh, no doubt about it. With this Colt Frontier Scout, uh, which functionally says 22 long rifle on the side of the cylinder, um, the cylinder functions very well, okay? You can see that, I don't know if you can hear the click or not, but it has a nice click. Uh, it's definitely in good condition. Uh, the gate opens wonderfully, and if I half cock this guy, uh, or I guess two-thirds cock it, uh, I can rotate the cylinder, I can feel it uh, actually clicking in each one. Along with this, if you decide you want to own it, will come this holster. And the holster has some fairly archaic Looks like 22 long, it could be 22 long rifle. Uh, very well tooled holster. Doesn't look like it belonged to a, uh, to a child. Does it fit me? No, it doesn't fit me. Um, you know, it, I don't know what the waist size is on it. I wish I could see a size. Whatever it is, it's gonna fit somebody with a smaller waist than me. Um, the firearm fits nicely into the holster, okay, and it looks like it's at home there. I think that's been done fairly often. Again, well tooled and lined. So I always like lined holsters, um, you know, where, where they actually line the inside. To me, that's an upscale, upscale rig, okay. So this is going to be shipped as a unit. We're selling it as a unit. If you have any questions about it, there are some pictures of it at www.artsgunsandammo.com. Again, this is stock number 313. Uh, it is a Colt Frontier Scout. I don't, I'm not going to tell you it's in pristine condition cosmetically, but I will tell you that um, as far as the function, it functions fine. You can still tie the, the, uh, you know, loosen this guy up and tie the hammer down into the holster, or if you're going to do some fast draw, you can loosen it up and tie it to your leg. The strap doesn't look to be really huge or long, so it's not made for a guy with fat legs. Uh, but it certainly is very unique and something that I believe would fit well in someone's collection. Um, so, www.artsgunsandhammo.com. See if this fits into your agenda. If it does, uh, send us a credit card <clears throat> number, uh, call us, send us a check. Uh, you know, we accept any kind of currency as long as it uh, can be applied to our bank account so we can pay our taxes. Um, so we uh, we're happy to see you come by today. And if we can, if this seems to fit, as I said, you can lay it away. We'll work with you. Um, so once again, Art Gordon, Arts Guns and Ammo, have a wonderful day. Bye now.